Um, but first, I'm going to just kind of go over some books with you that I, I, I would recommend for you to read. Now, if you want this uh, later, I can, I can kind of uh, maybe make it available for you. Since there's a lot of you, uh, I'll charge $5 for each person. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, the one that I, that I had here is called Wrongs to Rights. Maybe some of you have read that one. It's called Wrongs to Rights. Um, it's edited by Steve Heinrichs, and I'm going to just give some quotes from there if I have time with you. Another book that I would recommend is called The American Holocaust. Uh, I, I want to just say before that, uh, yeah, take that one is about as big as the Bible. <laughs> it's about five to seven hundred pages, but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a powerful read. It's by David Stannard, The American Holocaust, Columbus, and the Conquest of the New World. Uh, there's things that are there in there that are very hard to read. I had to put the book down quite a few times, uh, just the things that, that, that were done uh, to my people, uh, to the first peoples of this land uh, by, by the conquistors. And I, I won't take the time to mention some of those things, but it's very graphic. And I think it would be an interesting read, important read. Another one is called Clearing the Plains by James, Dash, James Daschuk. Clearing the Plains, and it talks about uh, the fur trade and, and, and just how uh, uh, the taking over the land was different. Uh, Hidden from History, The Cla Canadian Holocaust by Kevin Annette. Uh, the Canadian Holocaust, it talks about residential schools. The Im Imaginary Indian by a guy named Daniel Francis. That one was pretty interesting. He kind of talks about uh, the wooden Indian. Glad you was a wooden Indian standing by the door. Uh, you know, it's just kind of, and even in the movies, they have uh, the Indians circling the wagon, and, and they're wearing bandanas. You know why they're wearing bandanas? Because they're white guys, and they're wearing wigs. You know, and, and the wigs fall off if, if, if they don't wear the bandana. And so they're playing the part of the Indian. And it just kind of gives you an idea. What it's trying to say is, the Indian is not real. He's not a real person. That's what, that's, what, that's what they're uh, wanting to communicate. You know, so it's, it's huge. Um, not, another one is called uh, The Inconvenient Indian by, by Thomas King. The Inconvenient Indian, similar uh, kind of vein there with the imaginary Indian. A National Crime by John Milloy. Uh, it talks about residential schools. Very, like, um, doc uh, documented things that have happened to kids in residential schools. Uh, where, uh, where they die in the schools, uh, uh, the, the tuberculosis that spreads in the schools, and, and, and the leaders knowing about it, and yet le letting that continue. So, you know, it's, it's huge. And even um, homicides, too. And so, um, so that, that, that's a, I, I encourage you to read that one. Another book is called I Am a Man, and it's written about... Uh, it's the biography of, of Chief Standing Bear. Uh, he, um, he, in the States, he, uh, they, they have them move from their land uh, to a different place. And on the journey, his, his little boy tells him, uh, Dad, if I die on this journey, uh, will you bury me in our home, in our homeland? And he makes that promise to his son. And on, on the journey, his, his son dies. And so he makes his way back. And they try to stop him. The government tries to stop him. And they take him to court, telling him, you can't do this. And, and he goes to court uh, to, to plead his case. And, and there's some, some, uh, some, some Caucasian community that helps him uh, in, in, in that. And, but, but in the court, um, as, he, as he, they want him to speak, um, the, the court says um, they, they want him to... to to prove something in order to be heard. What do you think he has to prove? Thousand dollars. No, I'm just kidding. What does he have to prove? What? That he's a man, that he's a human being. So, so those are the kind of things that are, that are connected and uh, even to understanding what reconciliation about, is about. Seven Fallen Feathers is another book that I would encourage you to read. It's about uh, young people that, that were in, uh, that were in um, Thunder Bay that, that died. And uh, 
some, they say there were accidental deaths. They even said there were accidental deaths even before that there was an inquiry into what, what exactly happened. And so, and then even the, the you know, like you, you've heard of, of, of the Bushy case too, you know, uh, in, in, in Saskatchewan here in North Balford, uh, where, where the man was tried for, for killing a First Nations person that was on his land. And, and even in the selection of the jury, there was no Aboriginal person that was on the jury. So very, very powerful things that, that, that uh, are hard to talk about here. But I feel God will have me say these things to you. And then another book uh, is called Unsettling the Settler Within by um, Paulette Regan, Unsettling the Settler, Settler Within. You know, um, uh, this is probably, uh, you know, uh, one time this, this Caucasian man, a farmer, came up to me and says, Howard, um, Aren't you glad that we came? <laughs> Aren't you glad that we came? He says, uh, you guys, he says, you, you weren't doing anything with the land. Look, we came and, and, and we cultivated it. And we got all this, this, this farmland. And now, he says, we're feeding people all over the world. How would you respond? And so unsettling the settler within is about that. But you know what? That, that's, that, that book really, really gave me like a strong compassion uh, for, the, for the Caucasian community. You know, I, I cannot honestly say that from where, you know, it's like, it, it just seems like they struggle to, to acknowledge uh, that, that um, there are benefactors from, from decisions that the government have made concerning the land. And I think it's so. I think it's hard to, to say. Yeah, you know what? I think there's. I think we've been benefactors here of something that's uh, that, that's not right. 